Okay, so today we have milky drink from Fujia. So I've spoken of them before, but Fujia is a confectionery company uh, that's been around since 1910. Uh, they have their flagship stores where they sell cakes and stuff uh, throughout the largest cities in Japan. And they have smaller stores throughout the country. Uh, back in the 1950s, they released their mascot character, the one who's on the cover right here. Her name is Peko. She has a brother, I think, named Pico. Uh, uh, whatever. Um, and they have her plastered throughout the stores, throughout the packaging of their products. Um, so it's easy to remember which one is from Fujia. One of the products that they showcase is Milky, which is actually one of these things. It's a simple milk and sugar based hard taffy. I mean, it's really hard. Uh, I'll prop it open in a bit, but this drink is supposed to be the liquid version of this. And while there aren't any variants of this drink itself, uh, Fujia is the same company that makes the nectar drinks, the, the peach nectar drinks. Where's the opening? So, you know, the wax paper cover, and then you have this really, yeah. You can imagine the number it does on your teeth. Uh, <laughs> it's a very hard, hard taffy. I won't eat it because um, it might pull out my fillings. Anyway, so let's get on to the ingredients. The ingredients are listed in descending order. The thing listed first is a larger percentage of the drink. Um, the list is pretty short. Uh, you have domestic sugar, condensed milk, powdered skim milk, dairy products, whatever the hell that is, and salt. Uh, it also has fragrance. And it also contains egg, milk, and soybean-related uh, derived products. And it has some sort of uh, emulsifier. Just for reference, the candy, the candy, uh, its ingredients are a millet jelly, which is a kind of a rice-based rice sweetener, uh, condensed milk, castor sugar, fresh cream, vegetable oil, milk, salt, and emulsifier. So, at 260 mils, uh, this is a little over 9 fluid ounces, so, yeah, okay. Uh, it is 175 calories, uh, 3.4 grams of protein, 2.7 grams of fat, 34.3 grams of carbohydrates, and 0 .0, uh, wait, 0 0.163 grams of salt. All right, well, oh, you're not supposed to shake this, so it's some sort of pressurized drink, I guess. Ooh, you hear that? You know, color-wise, it's pretty similar. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but, I mean, it damn right looks exactly the same in color. What about taste? It tastes like melted ice cream. Um, melted vanilla ice cream. Granted, the aftertaste is very similar to it, but because it doesn't have that, like, really hard chewy texture to it I don't know if I can actually consider this the same I mean I, I wouldn't want this to be so super viscous but I don't know it yeah I forgot to explain the taste I guess it's it's really milk milk ice milk like in flavor um, like soft serve ice cream no vanilla flavor to it just uh, cream uh, milk and sugar so I guess in that sense, yes, they did replicate the flavor, but I mean, would I be going back for seconds? Probably not. Okay. Until next time, the drink's on me.